God. KCCI's Bo Bowman is live in Des Moines where the events all unfolded or very early this morning. Bo, you've been talking to people who live in the area. Yeah, Stacy, it all started here on Southeast 35th Circle in the Easter Lake neighborhood, and the people who live nearby say this isn't the first time police have been called to the home. Police first showed up to the home a little after 3.30 Tuesday morning. They were called there for a violation of a no contact order. It looks like she went and got a new no contact order. It's, it's going to be valid. I'm going to be searching the area for him. He likes to hang out by the lake, so I'm going to let you know if I find anything. About 20 minutes later, officers found the suspect in a vehicle and chased him. They say the suspect drove the car off the road and got out with a gun. Shots fired, shots. Are you hit? That's the moment when Des Moines police killed the suspect and one officer was shot in the shoulder by his colleague. 30 of them should be pulling up to you shortly. Medics are on their way. They're coming as fast as they can. I've got the whole city coming as fast as they can. Property records show a woman owns the home officers initially responded to. Court documents say a woman by the same name filed a no contact order Monday evening. And neighbors say officers were at the house just hours before that. Came back outside, then the scene of police showed up weren't here for maybe 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Then they left, so we just assumed same old deal before they've had them here before for it. KCCI is not reporting the names of those individuals at this time as they have not yet been identified by police. The people who live nearby say they're shocked it ended the way it did. And police add that the suspect's car was stolen out of Council Bluffs just a few days ago, and the license plate on it was stolen here locally just yesterday, which they say could point toward his actions being premeditated. We're live in Des Moines, Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa News Leader.